in this video I'm going to talk about how to create a, a new table and uh, some new reference show constraints after uh, you have already created some tables and constraints. So on the existing database, how do you add a new table and the constraints that relates to other tables? So I have my demo two database in here and I have customer order order line product table. You can ignore the person table for right now. So customers submit none or many orders, so that's one-to-many relationship, and uh, between order and product is many-to-many -many relationship. Therefore, we create a order line, which is associative uh, table between the order and product. It's a many-to-many -many relationship between order and product. So now I would like to create a new table called category. So I'm gonna have a one-to-many relationship between the product and category. So I right click on the tables new and my first column for the category will be category ID. Data type will be integer and then I'll have a category name. Data type will be let's say var car 50. I right click on category ID to set primary key. And I'm gonna be asked for the name of the table. I'm gonna name it category underscore t. So then I have the category t design in here. And if you want to enter, of course, right now I don't have any data. It's an empty table. If I want to enter, so I go at add, add top rows. And before then, let's take a look at one more time of the design because I would like to have the primary key ID to be automatically incremental. So how do I do that? Is that in the identity specification category of the column properties? And I will say with this category ID highlighted, I will say yes. So by default, I have an increment by one and the seed is one, meaning that it starts from one. Okay. And then with that selected, I wouldn't have to worry about creating manually my category T. So I just worry, uh, care about the name. So for the name, I will have, um, for example, book and DVD. And I can hit the next line. Notice that there is a explanation in there for, for right now, don't have to worry. And then let's go to the next one, grocery and Entry. So if I click uh, execute SQL, you will see that automatically it creates one and two and next one will be three for the category ID because we have set that up previously. So the next one, let's create one more. Okay. So now uh, I have a asterisk on this um, SQL or interface, that means that I've made some change I have. Uh, so I'm going to close that, make sure that I have that change in effect. So I have the three category I entered. Now I would like to set up that one-to-many relationship between product and category. How do I do that? So I know that I want the category uh, ID to be in the product as a foreign key so that I can link them two together. So let's take a look at what we have in the product table design right now. So I have just product ID as the primary key and the product description. So I'm gonna add a category ID. Now this category ID doesn't have much meaning. I'm gonna make sure that it has integer, which is the same data type with my primary key in category table, but it doesn't have much meaning because I haven't set place the uh, relationship with the category table yet. So uh, what I do is that with this highlighted, I'm gonna click save and then with this design open up, I can click this relationships icon or you can do the same from table designer and then relationships either way. So when I open the relationship, I already have some relationship in place and this is called the product PK and it's from the order line. 
because order line is associative between the order table and product table. So I need a product ID from the product table to be primary key and then matching the product ID in the order line table as the foreign key. Okay, so I'm going to click add. I need one more. So usually I will add a relationship starting from the table that I need to have a foreign key. Okay, so this is important. So I don't start with the category table because that's where my primary key is at. I start with the product table because I need a category ID in the product table as a foreign key. So I click add and this is the default name. I don't feel like this default name. So I'm going to call it category underscore foreign key. Okay, so the tricky part is under the co tables of columns right now by default, it's point to itself. So we would like to change that by click this icon and uh, change the primary key table into category T. And also point to the category ID and my foreign key table is product table and I'm going to point to my category ID. So now it match. Okay, so this is another reason I said why you want to start with the product table to add a relationship to it because the foreign key table you can see that's grayed out. So by default, it's a table that you select. So in this case, I cannot select other tables. So I'm going to do the primary key table for my category table. Okay, so that means category ID in the category table, we wanted to match the category ID value in a product table. That is separate to PKFK, what we call the referential constraints. Click OK and close. Okay, so that way we establish the relationship between one to many relationship between product table and category table.